Money, some city leaders say, is no longer the biggest hurdle in solving the homeless housing crunch. Measure HHH approved by voters in 2016 to build more supportive housing took care of that. So what is the biggest challenge? The tools we need now are scissors to cut the red tape and battering rams to break through the roadblocks and sledgehammers to smash the resistance. To that end, city leaders have approved two laws in city council that will get more of that Prop HHH money flowing quickly. One measure streamlines the planning and construction process and gets the supportive units built faster and cheaper. And just a few blocks away from here, we have 2,000 people that sleep on the street every night in Skid Row that go unsheltered. The misery, the despair, and hopelessness that many of them suffer through on a nightly basis is truly heart-wrenching and it must end. But even the quicker construction will take a while, so a second proposal, the motel ordinance, will convert motels into temporary housing units with fewer permits. Motels are infrastructure that already exists. They're often underutilized and they could hold a key to creating housing right now for people. Council District 8 City Attorney has more motels than any district anywhere in the city. So we want you to drive around South LA, make friends with some motel owners, and hopefully we can begin the process to have some conversions in our part of the city and all parts of, of Los Angeles. So what kind of a difference will these proposals make? Well, city leaders say, for example, a 60-unit supportive housing development could save them about a million dollars due to a streamlined process and shorter construction times under these new laws. And then there's the difference the new laws will make to human beings. The thing about purpose supported houses is I didn't know anything about this world. And every time I needed to find something out about how to navigate, navigate the world, you know, there was somebody there who was paid to be there to tell me how to do it, you know. And that's the only reason I was succeeding because I had somebody to go to. So far, more than 1,200 units are in the works thanks to HHH money. But there's 10,000 more units to be built in the next 10 years. That means 10,000 more lives to be changed. And it can't come quickly enough. I'm Anna Marcos for LA This Week.